What's new in Evolution X version 5.8 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in Evolution X version 5.8 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now, do note this is an unofficial build, but the developer behind this build is the same developer who brings us official pixel experience. So that should answer your question about the credibility of the build. First change you will notice is that the security patch has been changed to June 2021. The kernel they are using is Etude kernel. Of course, you do have pixel launcher out of the box, which means that select works without any issues as does the option of screenshot. Now, if you press and hold on the empty space, go into styles and wallpapers, and then you go into curated culture, you do get the June pixel drop wallpapers. And before you ask me, what is the wallpaper which I am using? It is the one from living universe. And yes, I know it does look pretty dope next change you will notice is that they have added a few new lock screen clocks so if you go into settings the evolver then you go into themes herein you should have the option of lock screen clock style here it is and you do have a bunch of different clocks now the change lock does not mention what are the different clocks they have added so here is the list of different clocks which is available on this build next up if you go into the font option you will see that they have added a new option called enter so if you scroll down, you should have the inter font available. Here it is. The inter font has been added to the latest build. Next up, if you scroll down a little in the themes section, you will notice you have a new option for your customized rounded corners. So either you can use the framework values. Once you disable the toggle, you can change the corner radius to your personal preference. And here it is. You can see it in action. It does work without any issues. And if you want to reset it just say use framework values next up they have also added some changes to the ticker option so if you go into settings the evolver notifications ticker and go into ticker one more time you should have notification and music ticker option added to the option then if you go back and go into the lock screen customization you have a slider for configuring the background blur for your lock screen here it is and of course it is a slider goes from 0 to 100 and of course works without any issues then they have also added two new quick setting tiles so the first one they have added is for vpn and the second one they have added is for reading mode other than that they have also fixed uh, issue where in the system ui would freeze and they have also fixed the search index so if you search in the settings or go into settings and then tap on the search bar search for anything it should be good to go now and you should not have any missing settings so those were the new changes next up let us go ahead and check if safety net is working or not so again device is not rooted i have only installed magisk to check for safety net and as you can see safety net is passing out of the box next up let us also go to the google play store and here and we can go to the settings play protect certification device is certified which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues now in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to buy youtube premium now another question which i get a lot is what about the l1 so l1 on the poco f1 is dead and you can blame poco india for that next up if you open google photos the option of high quality has been removed and it has been changed to storage saver let me skip this and let us go ahead and try to edit a picture of my favorite football star what are we doing here we're checking for the portrait light feature so let us go back edit it one more time and then wait for this loading bar to finish go into the option of adjust bam here it is portrait light feature in the building working without any issues do note this will only work for a human object so if i try to edit the picture of my chicken friend over here and then go into edit i will not get the option of portrait light because google does have pretty intelligent ai next up let us check whether google is working or not so works with the screen turned on let us turn the screen off are you awake 
yep as you can see the lady is awake so the option is working with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well next thing let us check for the app opening animations to see if you have any jitters any lags in the ui and i personally do not see any jitter or any lag with the ui the recent again smooth as always let us go into the google feed try to test this thing out and as always the keyword gets fired up all the time and here it is no lags no jitters in our feed as well next thing we can try is switch between a few applications so again no jitters no lags as you can see everything is pretty fast and pretty smooth so what can i say lakshay just keeps on coming up with awesome builds for the poco f1 and here is another example for you peeps and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you